Ferdinand Omar Nyala says winning the 100 meters title at the Commonwealth Games was the perfect race that he has always been dreaming of. The 26-year-old clocked 10.02 seconds to claim gold in Birmingham on Wednesday, beating defending champion Akani Simbine by 0.11 seconds. Omar Nyala becomes the first Kenyan to win the Commonwealth crown, adding to the continental triumph he recorded in Mauritius in June when he saw off South Africa's Simbine in a photo finish. This was the goal we had since the start of the year, to win the African Championships and the Commonwealth Games, Omar Nyala said. We have achieved what we said, so we thank God for this. I am sure it will have a lot of impact because I'll be training knowing that I'm Commonwealth and African champion. This is a big motivation. We are adding more accolades to my success. Omar Nyala's success come after disappointment at the World Championships in Eugene, where he failed to make the final after arriving late in the United States because of visa delays. However, he says he forgot about that experience after days. It is all about just moving forwards and using setbacks as stepping stones, he added. You have to pick up yourself. Everything happens for a reason. In June, Oman Yala became just the second Kenyan to be crowned African champion over 100 meters, emulating 1990 winner Joseph Gaconio, and expects more sprinters to emerge from the East African country on the back of his triumphs. There is so much talent in Kenya, it's just that they never saw anybody ahead of them that has been sprinting. With my success, there are going to be so many sprinters coming. You saw one of our guys, Sam Wellimeta, get to the semi-finals. Next time we'll all be in the final, he rallied. Ghana's Benjamin Azamati finished agonizingly outside the medals, coming forth just 0.02s behind bronze medalist Yupanabekun of Sri Lanka, while Cameroon's Emmanuel Asim crossed the line in seventh, 0.02.